One of the bigger debates we have when we talk about education in Michigan is governance. Who's in charge of making the big decisions? Well, Nolan spoke with Eileen Weiser. She's on the State Board of Education about the board's role in reform. Eileen Weiser, member of the State Board of Education, you all have a uh, goal of bringing Michigan to a top 10 education performance state within 10 years. Do you have a strategy to go with that goal? Yes, Nolan. Uh, there's very deep work that needs to be done since the state does not have a statewide curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, being done on something called multi-tiered systems of support, which is an effort to identify learning problems with children very early on and to correct mm -hmm. them before it becomes an issue that keeps them from learning. So this is a, extremely important for third grade reading and math because if a child has a hearing, a visual, or some sort of a learning disability, and you find that early on in mm -hmm. their lives, then they'll be able to move along with their class at the right pace. And money that's uh, been spent on children later on in remediation can be spent early, and they will be working well. Pushing the needle in Michigan has been sort of a frustrating process. We know we, we put $80 million into early reading programs that don't seem to be producing results yet. Why is it so hard here to make progress on education achievement? Well, there are several issues. One is mm -hmm. governance, because mm -hmm. we don't have a linear structure that allows for accountability right. within the department and the State Board of Ed. It doesn't quite work that way well. Mm -hmm. um, but the second one is that without a statewide curriculum, without something to drive those discussions, it gets very hard to work with schools and teachers on evidence-based mm -hmm. practices that are working in other states. So is that where the Marsh governor's Marshall Plan comes in That's for one of the places. career vote? Absolutely. Training. It's actually not career vocational training. Mm -hmm. It's an effort to infuse uh, high school curricula okay. with the sciences and math and anything else that works to bring children into a creative, cr uh, critical thinking, problem solving mode. So the goal on this is a competitive grant program that would align communities, businesses, the K-12 system and post-secondary to come up with a new way of teaching uh, uh, K-12 subjects. And we have high school students right now in uh, the UP who are mm -hmm. learning Algebra 2 by building Habitat for Humanity Houses. So Business Leaders of Michigan put their education plan out this week. And one of the things they mentioned was consistency in measuring performance. And I know that we went to the MSTEP test to measure student performance, student achievement a few years ago. And now there's some, some conversation about moving to another test. Where do you stand on that? So uh, MSTEP, what we really want is for every child to be a lifelong learner. We want mm -hmm. them to be able to do problem solving and critical thinking. And mm -hmm. right now, Michigan's schools don't necessarily teach that. But the capstone of, of eighth grade was supposed to be a writing assessment that moved from different subjects mm -hmm. that could show whether children could write, which they really struggle with right now, mm -hmm. and also show if they could problem solve. Uh, we don't know if that test is going to happen. I personally think we should move to PISA, which is a problem solving test for 15-year-olds. Eileen Weiser, thanks for joining us Thank today. You.